Okay, so in any normal situation, when you come into contact with somebody, you get direct feedback from their face, you see um, the smile on the face, which is very warm and inviting, and um, all the way through the body language and the eyes. So when we put our masks on, depending on the size of your mask, if it's too big or too small, <laughs> Uh, that changes and it becomes a little bit dysregulating to see people in this way in my opinion and I think in a lot of people's opinions. So what we're going to focus on for this video is what that is like through a child's perspective and how tools that we can offer to cope with this new way of seeing people and understanding um, on a very human level that you are safe. So. Um, with the mask, so seeing somebody with a mask on, a very different experience. So smile with the mask on, it doesn't look the same at all. So how can we know that we are safe when we have um, somebody whose face is half covered and we don't have those initial ways of greeting or of knowing that we are in the presence of a friendly character? So one way is that especially um, when you're greeting people to focus on the eyes and if you're on the other side of this, try to smile through your eyes. So sometimes we have a smile on our face and it's just a way of greeting people. Hi, it's nice to see you. Um, and it can, be very, it can be very habitual and it can be very um, kind of half-hearted. So in this new culture, if we're trying to give that message, what we really need to do is smile with our whole body. So imagine having a smile and as you do that, you're going to focus on the eyes and smile through the eyes and really give that warmth through the eyes. So see a difference here, if you can, of what it looks like to smile through the eyes. The other way to focus is you're not just looking, the eyes are very, this over theatrical expressiveness is needed with the mask, but it's also in the body language, the way that you're going to hold your body and how you yourself are regulating. So taking a deep breath, if you are feeling stressed in the room, it's something we can all pick up from each other. Taking a deep breath and coming in relaxed, whether you're on the side of the child or the side of uh, what is co-regulating with the child, parent or physician, any provider, making sure that that co-regulation is in sync with that side, the side of, I am a friend, I, ha I pose no threat. So if you're feeling it, smile through your eyes, Take a deep breath and try to have body language that is engaging and full and expressive. We're going to have to be expressive with our whole bodies so that we can give the feedback to each other that we need that we're not getting from the face. Do you have anything you'd like to add? No, that's great. So watch my, my ears pop out and my <laughs> eyebrows go up when I smile and I try and get much more endearing with my, my glasses and my forehead will brow up a little bit. So here's a smile. And here's just a normal talking voice. And here's something that looks worried or inquisitive or angry. And so you can get a lot from the eyes and the eyebrows and the forehead wrinkling as well as the ears. Right. Okay. And nodding as well, giving a lot of head nods of affirmation. Um, and what you do with your hands as, as well kind of conveys different levels of anxiety. So just being more aware of your body language and from the child's perspective as well, that awareness can come from, or that calm sense can come from the idea of sensing a smile in different areas of the body when stress comes out. So um, I'm feeling anxious, I sense a smile through my eyes. I sense a smile through my mouth. I sense a smile through my throat, through my chest, my heart, my belly. Sensing a smile all the way through your body giving that spaciousness and that calm sense of I am safe, I am in the presence of friends. So, so a fun thing to do for parents at home with their children, we talk about peaks and valleys, thorns and roses games about displaying your emotions, but a fun game at home perhaps for parents and children to do, for children that are old enough to understand, is to have your mask on and, and play the feelings game and mm -hmm. see uh, for somebody to display an emotion for their face and for the rest of the people in the family or around the room to try and determine what emotion it is. Mm -hmm. And really what it is is practice for the children 
to try and read faces without seeing the tip of the nose as well as the, mm -hmm. the, the mouth. And that, that's something that would help them in, a, again, a public situation, a potential situation of um, stress and anxiety, mm -hmm. uh, not only because it, it may be stressful in general, in other words, a doctor's office visit or whatever, but also uh, a public interaction with somebody that they're not that familiar with or comfortable with and is much more difficult for them to read that feeling of that person without being able to see their, their mouth and nose. So again, a good game to play around the, the, the home. It's a good idea. Or masked charades masked would be charades, really a great too. idea. I'm yeah, sure. yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything with, um, you know, writing down um, emotional situations and then having people pick those out, but being really animated and practicing that with the mask so that it becomes a part of our culture because we have to adapt. The world's changing and here we are, so. Yep, enjoy, have fun yeah. with it. Yeah.